Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to install FileZilla, a free FTP solution, on a Chromebook. But first, if you like videos like this, where I show you how to install software on both Chrome OS or Windows, please subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get to the video. The first thing you need to do is go over to your launcher here, and once you click on that, you want to search for Settings. And click on your settings and then on the left hand side here you'll see this advanced tab you will click to expand that and if you scroll on down you can see developers click on developers then click turn on okay this will create a wizard that will allow you to set up the Linux development environment I'll click next It'll give you a username based off of your email, I believe. Uh, make sure you like that username because I don't think you can change that later. The disk size, it will give you a recommended disk size. That can be changed later. Um, so you, could, you don't have to worry as much about that. I'm going to keep both as is and click install. And that's going to take a few moments. So I'll let that run and come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is enabled, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to click to maximize this, and I'm going to increase the font size so you can see what I'm doing. And I want to make sure everything's up to date. So I'm going to type sudo apt get update, and then two ampersands for and, and then sudo apt get dist dash upgrade. And I'm going to do a dash y to answer yes to the additional space. I'm going to hit enter to run. And this will take a few moments, so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is enabled, we can go ahead and install FileZilla. To do that, we'll type sudo apt get install FileZilla and hit enter. We're going to confirm the additional space with Y and enter. Okay, once that's run through, we can click on our launcher here. And we could go down to our Linux apps, and we see that the FileZilla just appeared. I'm going to right-click and pin that to the shelf. You can also search here if you don't see it up here in your Linux apps. But now that we've pinned it to the shelf, I'm going to click on that. And here we go. We have FileZilla installed on a Chromebook. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Thank you. 